Okay, so I noticed I'm doing problems. I'm kind of jamming things in there because I'm, I'm working actually on this piece of paper over here, which I realize that some students will do, but you realize when you're on an exam, you probably should be given some space to do the problem. So typically on exams, you might be using a blue book, and that means there's a separate piece of paper where you're actually just working the problems on a separate piece of paper. I kind of like the blue book idea. The blue book idea is put a problem down on one page, work the problem, go to the next page, put a problem down, yada, yada, yada. Sometimes you need more than one blue book. I think in case where students are using uh, quite a few blue books to answer an exam. And blue books, I don't have, I don't know, maybe 18 pages in them, I can't really remember. But let me, let me go to the whiteboard, because I'm gonna pretend I'm going to a blue book right now. And I'm gonna do 51 on the whiteboard. And what's 51? Let's scroll this up. I'll write it down for you. They want me to integrate. And um, let me see, 51. The integral was the natural log of x. And again, if this were me using a blue book, I'd, I'd probably start on a new page, by the way. And the first thing I'm going to do is just, you know, I'm going to say, I, I think integration with parts is going to work out okay. Now, granted, if I, if I get in trouble, I'll try something else. And that's what's nice about blue book, too. If you get in trouble, you just simply cross the page out. That's all you got to do. And, of course, I, I don't want to do that now because I haven't started anything. So I want to, I wanna, you know, basically go forward in the problem. So let me um, go forward. And how do I do that? I don't know, I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna try u equals the natural log of x, and then du would be one over x dx. All right, that's not so bad. And then I'm gonna say, you know, one over the root of x is really x to the minus one half. And I'm gonna say dx would equal dv, and that means v, without worrying about the constant yet, is gonna be, let's see, I increase it by one, so one half, Divide by half is like multiplying by 2. So I, I'm pretty clear that this guy here isn't bad. I mean, I can write this down. What's it going to be? It looks like 2 root x, the natural log of x. And then it's going to be minus. And let's take a look at that. That's going to be uh, 1 over x dx. Uh, let me make sure I did that right and then two um, root x, or two, oh, just two root x, or x to one half. Okay, I'm done with the um, with that u substitution I just did, or the integration by parts. So what I wanna do is I wanna erase that. I'm really kinda of done, I don't need to go back to that. And now sometimes I know I erase things and I say, oh gee, I need to go back there, but I, I'm not going back there. So let, let's write this down. What are you gonna get over here? Whoops, let me get my pen back. It's going to be 2 root x, the natural log of x, minus this integration over here, which is going to be a 2 comes out, and you're going to get x to the minus 1 half dx. I'm going to integrate now. 2 root x, natural log of x, and that's going to be minus 2. I'm going to increase the exponent by 1. That would give me 1 half. I'm going to divide by half, like multiplying by 2, and then plus c. All right, let me clean it up a little bit. 2 root x, natural log of x, minus 4 root x, plus c. We'll put a box in that, commit to the answer. I do want to claim, though, if you're given an answer key, you probably should be looking at it to make sure you can agree with it. I'm going to look at it now. I see the 2, I see the root of x, I see the natural log of x, I see the minus 4 root x, and I see the plus c. Thank you.